I felt stuck watching endless tutorials when I was a beginner in game dev. Now, I learned that that's not the most effective way to learn, and it made me finally finish and release my first game. In this video, I'll show you the best way to actually learn and make progress faster than you ever thought was possible before. So right now, you might kind of feel like you are stuck, and you might be constantly watching tutorials or just doing a lot of things, but you don't feel like you're getting the result and the knowledge that you want to or that you feel like you should get. And there is a concept that you need to know when you are learning game dev. And that is that your brain remembers things much better when things are actually hard than when they are easy. And you could probably imagine what part the tutorials are on. Are they hard or are they easy? Well, obviously they are easy. You're just following the steps that you're watching on YouTube. It's not hard and your brain doesn't even have to work. Like the only thing you have to do is to watch the video, like open your eyes and copy and paste the code that you watch on YouTube. Like that's not real learning. That's only that's only tricking your brain to actually thinking it's productive and actually doing something. You can think of it like lifting weights. If you lift easy weights all the time, your muscle won't grow. They only grow when you actually lift things that are hard. And the same applies to learning in general, but more specifically for us in game development. This is something that took me years to learn and it even made me quit game dev for a long time. So I don't wish the same for you. But when I finally realized this, I actually made progress and I finally released my first game. Most likely you haven't thought about this before, but the creators you're watching, they profit off you being stuck and you watching the tutorials. They get good retention if you watch the entire tutorial. They get clicks, they get views. They get the profit. They get the profit from you just watching their step-by-step -step how to tutorials over and over again. That's why most game dev creators they don't tell you to stop watching tutorials and start building because the moment you do, you'll stop watching them and the profit goes away. And going back to what we said before, watching tutorials, that's the easy part, but actually building and solving real problems, that's the hard part. That's how you actually learn game development. So you should start experimenting on your own. For example, if you are a complete beginner, do some easy projects, try to just experiment around without having any external resources or like any guidelines on how to actually do it. Just test stuff, see if it works, probably it won't. So fix the issues and make it work as you want it to. That's how you actually learn. Like for example, if you're a complete beginner, make a button that changes the color when you click it. Make a trampoline in 2D or 3D that bounces objects once they collide. Or just an enemy that shoots towards another game object. Like just simple experiments. But most likely you don't know how to do them in your head, so you need external resources. So that's where your brain might think you're going to watch a tutorial or you're going to use AI. But those are the easy things, remember? We need to do it the hard way, because that's how we actually rewire our brain. And this is something that you don't want to hear. You don't want to hear that you can't use AI, don't want to hear that you can't watch tutorials because they are easy, but that's not how we learn game dev. So the best way to learn is something that we did way before AI. That's actually just searching for the implementations on Google. And when I say search for the implementations and find the solutions, I'm not saying search for how to make the button color change when you click it. Don't search for like the entire implementation itself. Break it down and search for the smallest things, like how to make a button in Unity, how to do something when you click a button, how to change a color of a UI element. Do you see the difference? Instead of searching for how to do the entire thing, you search for how you do the specific things within the result you actually want. Because that's a hard way to learn. Most likely you actually know something about implementing this thing. Like for example, you might know how to change the color. Or you might know how to like make the UI element. But you just don't know how to link the UI to actually changing the color. So you use the skills that you already know. So they will sit tighter in your brain. And those things you'll remember for the long term because you're actually actively using it while still learn how to actually implement that one specific thing into an already existing system. So you can just copy and paste the code, you actually need to implement it into the system that you already have. So it's still kind of hard because you aren't just getting the solution, you actually need to find a solution on how to implement the solution, like how to integrate it in your own code and system. So if you are a complete beginner, experiment with things you don't know much about. Don't experiment with the things that you're comfortable with, Try to experiment with other things. So when you made a few experiments, then you can start making small prototypes. Where you just take your like experiments and you put them together and you make like 
a small prototype that has more than just one single script or experiment, but you actually combine them and you try to make something just a little bit bigger than just experimenting, but still not that big that you can call it a game. It's just experimenting on a larger scale. Think of prototypes right now as just bigger versions of your experiments, and you try to actually make an experience. And if you want everything in this journey laid out for you perfectly and in the most effective way, which can save you weeks or even months, then check out my program Smart Indie. It will help you finish your first game within 60 days and make you feel like a real game developer. And just so everything is clear, don't immediately just give up or use AI or do these fast tracks when the things that you're trying to actually find out yourself is too hard. Things should be hard and don't give up that easily. If you seriously have a problem that you can't solve, try to scale down or use AI if you really, really can't. But don't rely on it. You have to only use it sparsely, and when you're using it, actually try to make it teach you. Do the hard things even when AI is very tempting. I know I've fallen into this trap too, but that's not how you learn. That's it for this video. As I said, if you want this journey laid out step by step, check out my program in the video description, Smart Indie. It will seriously help you. So, thank you for watching this video.